I think it's what you think it is, and I think it's in this box. Sarah, why don't we go get some backpacks for the kids today? Yeah! Oh, you like that one? I have one. Thanks. Can I get these shoes? <laughs> I think it's what you think. You might think what I think it is, and I think it's in this box. No! <laughs> Commandeered! No, oh no! Oh <laughs> what do you think is in it? It is probably your phone. I don't think we're expecting anything else, are we, Sarah? Check my violin books, but they're bigger than that. Oh, okay, let's open it. Let's open it. I want to see. Gigo, Figo, are you excited? Oh, you look so excited. Don't smile, don't laugh. Don't think about elephants without trunks. No, you laugh. <laughs> Congratulations to you. You own. Here's your new phone. Oh wow, it is really light. Can I see? To activate your what do you replacement mean? phone. See Can the including guide. Oh, there it is. Can I, I can't believe you got a new phone. So do we have to take it to the Verizon store? Yeah, I think we better take it and have them switch everything over. Sarah, why don't we go get some backpacks for the kids today? Yes! Yes, then everybody will yes. be 100% ready for school. Yes. Except for, they got shoes. Allie didn't yes. get shoes. Okay, so we'll have to get the big girls some shoes too. And what is going on here? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? It's usually like a frenzy when the when the door bell rings around here, but everybody was eating. They were like, ah, I don't care who's at the door. Allie, you actually, I don't think, was expecting that today. You're expecting it on Friday, so you should have been expecting it today. I actually was matter. expecting it yesterday. I would go check the mail every Yesterday was Sunday. Hi, Bertie. Hi. Just one look and I can hear a bell ring. One more look and I forget everything. Whoa, mama mia, here I go again. My, my, how could I resist ya? Mama mia, does it show again? My, my, just how much I missed ya. Yes, I'm a broken hearted. New <laughs> since the day we parted. Why, why did I ever let you go? summer it's been so hot and dry we've had so many fires around us it seems like once they get one out another one starts and so you can't really tell that the sky is blue here and it's a nice day it looks all yucky and cloudy but that's because there's so much smoke in the air and my sinuses are killing because of it it does make for a good sunset though this is my addiction right now <laughs> I am so addicted to these, like Sarah says. All right, we're getting the car. I guess you need your sunflower seeds. I've made this last how long ago? Um, like two weeks. Two weeks. It does kind of kill me, my mouth a little bit. Do you guys eat sunflower seeds? I really like sunflower seeds, and so I just spit them in this cup. So I'm not spitting them out all over in the car. That'd be nasty. A lot of times he spits them out the window, and the girls think it's so gross especially when they like fly back and hit Danielle in the face when we're in the car. Oh my gosh, 
That's what I would choose if I were you, Lizzie. Yeah, I want this one. That one has the lunch box and the pencil pack and the water bottle too. And sequins. And sequins, whoa. I don't know, they're both so cute. Are you gonna do a unicorn backpack? I don't need a backpack. Oh yeah, you don't need a backpack. There's one that I found at Ross when we went and it was Mickey Mouse and I really liked that one. Do you think it's still there? I hope so. Daddy, wait for me. <laughs> what? Daddy, wait for me. Whoa, what are you doing? Those are school supplies. Yeah, that's, that's what I need to get it. Okay. I got a lunchbox too. All that's right. why. Savannah, you realize you have one on your back too, right? Yeah. I like all three of them. Okay, you know there's a whole row of backpacks back there that we're gonna go look at too, right? Folder, folder, folder. So put those ones back, and then if you don't like any of the ones over there, we'll come back for one of those. All right, Az, go tell Daddy you found yours. I like it, dude. To the rescue. I think I want to go back and get the emoji one. The emoji one? Look at that cool unicorn one. It's all shiny and sparkly, all in one backpack. When you tell your child something and they say, That's cool. That's cool. That means they don't really like it. Okay, I found the one I wanted. And look, it even comes with the pencil case. Oh nice, so it's like Lizzie's where it has the lunch box and the pencil case and the water bottle. Oh cute, it's double sided emoji. What? Um, I found a Batman piece. That is pretty amazing. Yeah. What are you going to do with that? What? That would fit around your waist. That would fit around your waist, dude. I want that. You want it more than the one you have? Okay, do you want this one instead of that one? Are you sure? Yes. You're looking, look at them side by side here. Look. Look, look at this one. No, no, look at this one. <laughs> Which one? Okay, here, put it on. I like it, because it like has That's a right cool backpack. Here. That only has one zipper. This has one. Oh, it does? Oh, two zippers, and look, it has oh, the it has side pouches. holders for a water bottle, Dude, too. totally, totally, totally. Yeah, I need this thing. We need to get new socks for the school year, and we gotta get different pairs because she likes to steal my socks. And so when we have different colors, we can tell which one is whose. But I can still steal them. <laughs> and it bugs me really bad. What did you find? A pants. Pants. Pants for who? For me. <laughs> Why? He went and found a pair of pants. And they're girl pants, dude. These are girl pants. Hey, girl girl pants, dude. And he's just grabbing stuff. Okay, <laughs> no he's necklaces. Gonna You're gonna be a terrible gonna... shopper. Like, if he gets married to a woman that likes to shop, he's just gonna throw everything in the cart. <laughs> Go put these back. Hurry, hurry. This is the watch I picked. I need Got it? Yeah. Good job, dude. Good job. I expected you to just go throw it somewhere, actually. Canyon thinks he's hiding from you. Yell for him. Canyon! See? Canyon loves hide and seek, and he's pretty dang good at it. And he thinks it's a game every time we go into Walmart to go and run. Do you guys see Canyon run by? Yeah. He's playing hide and go seek, and he's pretty good at it. He went and hid underneath those racks over there and wasn't moving. And he's out of here again. Go get him, go get him, go get him. Hey, can I get these shoes? What are they? Can I get these shoes? <laughs> They're sneakers! Oh my gosh, Daddy! They're sneaker shoes! They're pretty cool. We're here for backpacks, so let's go. Except me and Danielle need shoes, so. Yeah, we need shoes. So you really would want your shoe to be speaker shoes? Kind of. You can walk through a hole with <laughs> it. 
Daddy? <laughs> That's a vine. Anyway, hey Daddy. Can I get speaker shoes? You're for real, you want those? I'm for real. They won't last long, will they? Who knows? I don't know. You really do want them. I want anything to be like blasting music around, be able to feel like, for real? feel my feet vibrating. I'd like to hear them to see if they're even, oh, it's only one shoe. It's not like I'm gonna go walk around without another shoe. I got a few things in this car that don't belong. We did not sign up for this. <laughs> Watch, really? With a bottle opener oh, and a yeah. corkscrew. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need that. I think there's an extra backpack in there somewhere too. We don't need that, right? No. Nope. Is Eagle getting one though? Does he really need one? He's not gonna do anything with that. Is he? I don't think he needs one. He'll probably forget by the time we get yeah, home. If he doesn't forget, or if he, yeah, if he remembers, we'll have to come back. Otherwise, I'm going to bed. Okay. <laughs> Canyon put that one in there, too. <laughs> Dude, are you excited about your backpack? What kind did you get again? Black Panther. What is it? Black Panther. That's right. And you got? I got Mora. What was it? Moana. Moana. Emojis. Oh, so fun. Huh, Gigo? I got... I got... No, I owl. I got an owl one. Are you sure? Yeah, I did. Okay. Where is it? It is in the car. Okay. Okay. Um, Sarah. What? I didn't even realize what I was doing, but I went to ask the kids what backpacks they decided on. Yeah. And guess who's right there? Mommy. Gigo. And he still. Did you tell mommy? Gigo? What are you excited about? I'm excited about my backpack. What kind of backpack did you get? I'm an owl one. So if you remember, I put the backpack back. I didn't think he needed it, and we thought that he would forget about it. He'll probably forget by the time we get home. I put the backpack back on the shelf. We didn't actually get it. Because we didn't think he needed one, and now he's excited about it. What do we do? I feel like a jerk parent. If I don't get it, go back and get it. And then I feel like I'm wasting money if I go back and get it. All right, it's a sad, sad evening. What are we gonna do about Kiko's backpack? I just went to bed and I still feel bad about it. You wanna go get one? You wanna go get it? It's too late tonight. It's 11.30. So what do you guys think? Tell us. In the comments below, should we go and get Kenny's backpack even though he's not gonna use it? He grabbed it and hugged it and snuggled it. <laughs> I know he it. wanted it so bad after that. And he was so excited when we got home because he had a backpack same as all of the kids who were going to school. I was feeling bad, now Sarah's making me feel worse. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to eat. My last Mazarin. Mazarin? Don't touch it. Don't touch it. <gasps> oh. Now we almost ate it. This came all the way from Sweden. It's oh, the last it. one. Can you get any? Yeah. Here. I will share. Mm. It's amazing, isn't it? it? Tastes like a poppy seed muffin. Mm. <laughs> My goal is to learn how to make those, but it's made with almond paste. So I need to find something that I could substitute for almond paste. Do you know anything? Is there anything that I can substitute almond paste for or with? Toothpaste. Almond paste with. Not toothpaste. Sicko. I have to find something because those are really my favorite treat. And I can't eat them because I'm allergic to almonds. All right, all the sadness, we have to go to bed. What's even more sad? <laughs> we recently had a friend um, pass away. And I mean, we weren't like really close friends, but the acquaintance is kind of because he um, had a lot of issues with pain and some other things. And as I was talking to a friend about it, I just, I, I realized that it's so easy to feel like you're a burden on other people. It's so easy to feel like you're not providing for the people around you, like you think they need, like your friends or your family, or in my case, as a dad, providing financially for your family, or a mom providing fa financially for your family or it's enough true. love for your kids or enough love for your parents or your friends or all these different things. When I had cancer, I had to learn 
to let others serve me because it's like, I'm the mom, I'm supposed to do that kind of stuff and then I couldn't do anything and I had people bringing us food and taking me places and all those things all the time and I just felt like I wasn't doing my job. Yeah, so it's easy to just not feel like you're good enough at just living, good enough at being a friend, good enough friend, and all those different things. It's it actually, it's easy to do and when you get in that position, that's when you feel like you're just completely worthless and that nobody needs you and I wish that people could really re, um, share their feelings with each other on a regular basis of how much we need each other, how much um, someone is worth to us. If you can, um, and you're feeling right now like you're just not worth it, just look around and see the people that interact with you. Nobody that knows you would agree with you at all, that you're not, that you're not a good enough friend, that you're not a good enough whatever. Um, it's just, it's not something that we do as a culture, as a people, that, to just continually uh, tell people how much they mean to us and so anyway just remember never forget we just that, that's our message right that's what we want you guys to remember that always always 100 percent that you, you are, are worth, worth it, it. Oh. oh what as you are worth it bye, we guys. Love you guys we love you bye, bye.